complimentary breakfast. So these are the the, um, the passageways at the labs of the Centre for Emerging and Zoonotic Diseases. So here we focus on the diagnosis of the hemorrhagic fevers, such as Ebola. We also actually specialise on diagnosis of the Arbo viruses, so mosquito-borne viruses, and also human rabies. All the strange and wonderful yes. end up here. And we are the reference laboratory in South Africa. Um, only laboratory doing what we're doing. And for some of the things we do, the only laboratory in Africa that mm. actually do what we do. And where do you actually keep them? Behind that door there? No, 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 no. It's a little bit more complicated <laughs> than that. So some of the, the pathogens or the, the disease-causing agents we work with is classified as level 2, level 3, or level 4. So the level 2 bugs, we're not too worried about. Those are the ones that you can be treated for or be vaccinated for. So we deal with them slightly differently. But as we move to the more formidable bugs, the Ebola and so forth, um, you'll have to go through a couple of doors. Okay. Um, this is door one. Jump through a couple of hoops. <laughs> okay. So is it, this is now door one on the way to uh, Ebola. This is the leading to the only um, BSL-4 laboratory in Africa. So we can't go further than this. So the lab is hot and operating, so we, we can't go in there. Um, and yeah, so any of the people that are authorized to go in there are, will have access and will actually know what to do. <laughs> right, so this is uh, door number one, door number two, and then there's a door number three. Door number three, and then there's a um, shower number four <laughs> that you will have to go through. So the lab is completely sealed off. Um, it's airtight according to you know certain criteria. So even you know when you actually want to go into the lab here, you will just open a door and go into the lab, you know, these, these labs over here. So the, we here, we just do administration and work with rabies and things like that. But um, if you go through here, the, the doors are actually double interlocked doors with a gasket seal, so the lab's completely sealed off. If you want to go into the lab, you will deflate the one door, go into this cubicle, close the door behind you, and then the next door will open. So it's a complicated affair um, to, to get into the lab. And obviously, to get into the lab, you'll have to wear one of these suits. All right, let's talk about these suits. So if you want to work in a level four laboratory, you have to wear the right protective equipment. So the laboratory itself obviously provides the what we call a biocontainment bubble. You know, there's lots of engineering and things that drive the, the environment as well. It's not just a room. Um, but you have to wear protective clothing as well. So we use um, fully enclosed um, plastic biosafety suits. Um, when you zip these clothes, they're airtight. Um, they should be airtight. You check, you know, the suit for any holes before you use it, and you actually sign off um, that you're happy to use the suit um, yeah. before every you time. use it every time, and it gets duly signed. Um, when you have the suit on, you will quickly have to hook up to a breathing air supply. So on this suit, it's that tail there that you'll have to hook on to um, breathing air supply coils that are distributed throughout um, the laboratory. So they're suspended from the, from the ceiling and you will hook in, hook out and move um, through the lab. So the suit will puff up with breathing air. This one's tails at the back. You said something very interesting and, uh, you know, just to, to end it off. We have no idea why we have some called a virus on this earth? Well, I think there's a lot of hypotheses where viruses come from. Some people tell you um, the aliens brought it, and mm -hmm. other people will say it's it's molecule, it's a DNA or RNA molecule split off from bacteria or from, from other um, living systems. But I don't think there's, there's really... Um, you know, proven facts to, to exactly tell us where viruses come from. Viruses are interesting. They're actually not alive. Um, we, we say that we grow them and they, you know, they live, but they actually don't. They're just complicated molecules and they need to, in fact, hijack a living cell and use the metabolism of that living cell to replicate itself. Um, so it, it, it's, you know, very interesting field to work in and sometimes very abstract for, for people to, to understand, but it's just a complicated complex molecule. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much. This has been a very, very interesting.